All right, in this video, we'll be looking at keyboard shortcuts in PG Admin that can speed up your workflow and editing process. I'm using PG Admin 4, but I think the commands will be pretty similar if you're on different versions. I'm also using a Mac, so the keyboard shortcuts might be slightly different if you're on Windows, but not to worry because all the keyboard shortcuts can be customized. So the first thing you might want to customize is your theme because who likes using a light theme, right? So go under File, under the Preferences over here, you will see a miscellaneous themes over here. Select, let's say, Standard Dark. And if you click Save, you'll see the changes. After refreshing the page, here we have a dark theme. But here is actually a case where I actually prefer the standard theme. If you look at high contrast, here's what it looks like. I still prefer the light theme in this case. So I'm going to switch back into the standard theme. And that will be the first thing that you want to customize so that you can work in a nice environment. So I have seven keyboard shortcuts that I find really useful when using Postgres in PG Admin. And I think before I start going through it, I'll just show you a bit a rough overview of what all these shortcuts are. So the first one is of course to view your data. For me, I've set it up to Control V. I can do Control V on any table. I can see the data. To make a query, I can do Control Q. And that's how I have that command panel over here. And then I can type in, let's say, select star from customers. And to execute this query, I can just do Control X. So that's how I've set my commands up. These are the three main commands that I feel are really useful. And the way you can do this is to go into File, Preferences again, go under. And so here, if I scroll through, you can see that I have set up the query to, open query to, to be using the key Q with control. And so you can customize this based on what you prefer on your keyboard. So that's the query tool. To view data over here, we can do V and control. So this is the way I've customized it. If you prefer something else, go ahead and do that. But just to show you where you can find all this, view data, query data, and the last one will be how to execute queries. So to do that, that will be under your query tool, under your keyboard shortcuts, you can see I've set up my execute query over here to be X with control. So those are the three main shortcuts and you can scroll through and see what the other shortcuts you might want to customize. Perhaps you might want to do save data changes if you were to type in your values into the tables manually. If you go back to one of the other keyboard shortcuts under browser, the delete object. So this is the fourth keyboard shortcut that I think is really useful. To delete an object, you can do the D key with the shift and the alt or option key on your keyboard. So if let's say you have a table over here that you want to delete, just go ahead and do Option Shift D, and this will ask you if you want to delete this. This will also apply to a view. Let's say you want to delete this view. Click Yes, and then the view is gone. Under keyboard shortcuts, there is a command over here that says tapped panel backward. If you do Option Shift and the square bracket, that's going to change your tap over here in this segment. So if I do Option Shift and the square brackets, you can see I can switch between these tabs. Besides that, a really useful keyboard shortcut if let's say you want to uncomment and comment out some queries to test. So normally you would use command slash to comment out a certain line, but if you want to undo this, if you press command slash again, you see it actually adds another comment onto it. So the command to actually undo this comment is to do command dot on a Mac. So I can do command dot. If you're using Windows, it might be some other keyboard shortcut, but the point is that it's not the same keyboard shortcut to comment and uncomment a certain line. The last keyboard shortcut I want to share is something really cool that I only just discovered, which is the autocomplete function in PG Admin. So if let's say you are typing, let's say a select query, and then you want to see what you can type next, you can do actually control space. So by the control space, you can see all the commands that I have available. It doesn't provide you the documentation, so that's a bit of a downside, but at least you can see at a quick glance what is available to you and click and you can see there it is. So I would say this is more useful if let's say you want to have a quick auto completion. You already know what you're looking for. So that's it for this short video. Hope you liked it. If you have any interesting keyboard shortcuts of your own, do share it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to take a look as well. If you found this video helpful, do give it a like, share it and do consider subscribing for more such videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.